Painting's rewarding when, when it goes well. It's frustrating when it doesn't go well. I guess it's the thing where you've created something out of basically nothing. You've created something that didn't exist and you've done it entirely yourself. And that's, that's rewarding. It's like you've invented something into existence. Hello, Sweden. Norway. From Norway. Iran. Romania. Sweden. Sweden. Serbia. Sweden. 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 Indonesia. Norway. It's an international school. It's uh, not only you know Swedish people and. Uh, or even Scandinavians, multitude of uh, nationalities, and uh, don't be afraid to, to come here, sort of. That's what I would say. come here can expect to be learning how to draw and paint at the absolute highest level. It's, it's a, really a good place and, a, and a, you, you can't get a better environment than this. So just uh, take the advantage of the studio. And... If you come to Florence, you will learn how to paint and draw. I think here they have discipline, hardworking. I would say to myself, start, don't hesitate. You're gonna get better anyway. Every single day you're gonna get a tiny bit better. It doesn't matter like your skill level, it doesn't matter. Just do it, do it, do it. I had the idea before that you can always do things by yourself. You know, if you read enough books and you watch enough YouTube videos and so on, you can always learn art. But um, since I've been here, I realized you need the guidance of professional skilled people and the school definitely offers that. If you truly want to develop your skills, you definitely need to go to a school such as the Florence Academy. You have all the utilities, you have all the people. Gothenburg is very much a blue-collar worker town. You see art and architecture and traditions that go back hundreds of years, but it's also very modern at the same time. Nice city. Beautiful. Alive. There's pretty much everything that you need. It's close to the sea. It's not too big, it's not too small. I think it has a balance between being modern but also having history. It has a realness about it. So it's maybe not as appealing on the surface, but I feel like it's in the you know living in now. It's this wonderful mix of tradition and also forward thinking that I that I really enjoy. Everyone can speak English basically. Oh.